unwanted record continuing to be broken. On Sunday, an Arab Israeli was murdered in northern Israel, bringing the number of Arab Israelis killed so far in 2023 to 157. This is compared to 116 for all of 2022 and smashing the 2021 record of 126 and showing an alarming, growing trend in Arab Israeli homicides. Most of these deaths are the result of organized crime, business conflicts, or family disputes. And fingers of blame are being pointed in several directions. Many inside the Arab sector blame the police for ignoring the rise in smaller gangs and failing to crack down on the violence. Whereas anger towards the government is rising due to alleged negligence and apathy towards the Arab Israeli community. But what could the government do to halt the number of casualties from spiraling further out of control? Should some of the blame be placed on the Arab sector or have they been failed by those in power? Could Finance Minister Betzalel Smotrich's cutting of funds for Arab Israeli municipalities and educational programs work or just exacerbate the problem? How can the Arab Israeli killings end? All right, gentlemen, so let's get to it. How can Arab Israeli uh, killings end? Simply put, as always, we begin with our quick fire round, 30 seconds each to allow your initial stance on the matter, and we pick up the conversation now from there. So, Mr. Adelaoushe, please take the lead. Your 30 seconds are on. Hey, good evening, Ali. Uh, this problem is uh, government originated, and it can be also government solved. The government has given up on trying to find the solution to the problems of the Arab community, they allowed the chaos to happen within the Arab community. And only if the government wants to really step in and solve the problem, it, the problem will be solved. This is not a crime that is resulting from social problems. It's crime that is mostly economically driven. A lot of people are making a lot of money out of it. It's 90% of the killings are organized crime, and it needs organized power to control it. All right, uh, Mr. Kleiner, your thoughts. I agree with the second part. I don't believe this uh, uh, problem is a government uh, originated, but I agree that it should be, it should be a government solved. It has to be first a, a top priority. It is a disaster. It is unacceptable. And I agree the government is responsible to find the solutions. And I guess we shall speak about the solution uh, later on. <laughs> yes, we will in a split second. Uh, but before that, uh, last but not least, Yuri Oppenheimer, your thoughts? We need to remember uh, that we have a racist government that doesn't really care for the life of the Israeli Arab citizens. The number shows the reality. In the previous government, we saw a decrease of uh, victims of crime among the Arab population. And in, uh, under this government, we see an increase in a, a high record uh, number of casualties. This is not by mistake. This is an outcome of the government policy. Just to give it aside and not to do anything in order to stop it. And when you don't do anything, this is the result. All right, gentlemen. Yes, please, Mr. Instead of finding a solution. All right, well, we, we are obviously feeling free to engage in a conversation now. So, Mr. Kleiner, uh, the floor is yours, please. I, I believe the government should have a special uh, meeting. Uh, I believe somebody has to be appointed to be a czar of a special project of fighting this uh, uh, unnormal uh, um, a problem, which results, as Mr. Dar said, clear, uh, said correctly, 90% is a gang, um, a gang war in the Arab community, which uh, and by which started uh, um, this uh, this year. It's not the fault of the government, but the government has to correct it to swamp the Arab cities with the policemen, maybe to build a special guard, a special guard that will also consist of the Arabs that will be recruited either to the police or to, to this special guard, maybe within a national service of young people. Mm. And I believe I even have a candidate that can do it. It's a ex-chief of staff, Gabi Ashkenazi, which was a, a training in the past, Arabs to serve in the police and uh, helping law and order in the Arab society. Uh, I believe such a man or somebody else in his, uh, in his standard and ability should be appointed. It will be, should be under 
as a police, and I am right. sure that uh, the government uh, will be tested, among other things, also with its success in uh, solving the problem in a dramatic way, if we could have made the yeah. uh, yes. um, so solution and order in Judea and Samaria, we can also do it in the Arab society and protect well, our... Well, I'm not sure that the current state of affairs uh, reflects order in, in, in the West uh, uh, Bank, uh, but uh, before we dive further into the um, uh, proposed solutions, uh, I'm, not, I'm not trying to put the emphasis on on on, on finger-pointing here, but, uh, uh, but are Arab leaders doing enough, Mr. Darao? Sh sh should they carry some of the blame, or is it all government uh, uh, manifestation, as you've suggested? I mean, even if you assume, if you assume, and I assume that Arab leadership are also to blame, yes, they can't. The problem cannot be resolved. To put the blame mm -hmm. and export it from the government agencies that are supposed to be the ones that handle this issue, that hold the problem, and and delve into immediate solutions. You know, let's put 99% of the blame on the Arab citizens. Okay, on the Arab leadership, on the Arab mayors, on the Arab members of the Knesset. All of that blame, if it's placed on them, it's not going to solve the problem. Right. The problem needs force, it needs power, it needs government. There's only one agency in Israel that has the power to have the force, which is the, uh, against civilians, which is government authority. Right. Arab municipalities do not have the right, as in the United States, to form local police or uh, city police. So uh, at the end of the day, even if you put the blame, 99% of it, on the Arab leadership, as many people in the government like to do, the, that does not bring about the solution. The real problem is lack of policing, what we call under-policing. When I go to complain about something, someone that might have stolen a bike in front of my house, I can guarantee that no punishment will happen. Right. If I also complain about someone that shot at my house, I can also guarantee you that it's not going to be handled. If someone shoots at your house, Ellie, I know the problem will be handled. So there is, there seems to be not only negligence, it seems that there is some kind of intentional Systematic, negligence. Yeah. And that kind of intentional negligence means that those that are neglecting intentionally are the ones that want the problem to continue happening in the Arab community. And perhaps important to underline that blame is one thing, responsibility is another thing. And those who are to blame, Absolutely. quote unquote, are not always the one responsible, not for the problem, uh, neither uh, for the solution. Um, uh, and Yariv Oppenheimer, before we get to you, uh, um, I do want to add another element to the discussion, because after tasking the Shin Bet Internal Security Agency to help police, the security cabinet is now mulling uh, uh, the use of administrative detentions. Um, let, let's take a listen to what uh, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said earlier today. The government of Israel is determined to fight the criminal organizations in the Arab sector. This is a national blight. We will employ an iron fist, including the consideration of administrative restrictions and detentions in order to stop these terrible murders. This fight will not be simple, but I am certain that with our joint forces, we will succeed in defeating this phenomenon and will certainly reduce it to the dimensions we have achieved in the Jewish sector. Well, Yariv, is turning a civilian issue into a national security one or using national security methods, is it a slippery slope here or just what is necessary to be done at this point in time? When we are talking about the symbol of power like uh, mayors, so it's okay that the Shin Bet will be take part because we don't see, we don't want to see the Israeli democracy in, in, even in the local area uh, will be running by uh, criminals. Uh, having said that, the police has enough uh, legal and democratic tools in order to act. We don't need this anti-democratic uh, tools, uh, toolbox, in order to solve the problem. We saw what the last government did. It was about Motivation. The less government coordinate ministries, the tax uh, authorities, all together working on case by case in order to solve the, the case and to bring people into justice. This is what we need to do. It's not a, to, to speak about Shin Bet or about the security forces or to speak about a, a detention, a, a administrative detention without trial. These are tools that are not necessary. You can deal with the current tools, but you need to 
show that you really care for that and you invest money, energy, and attention to that. And what we see from the government when we ask Itamar ben Gwir what is his solution, he's talking about the National Guard. The National Guard cannot solve murder uh, case. It can solve the issue of riots. It can, it can force, uh, use force against demonstration to protect Jews from the Arabs. This is the National Guard. This is not the solution for the crime. So I think that the motivation in the government is very low, and they are uh, throwing the blame now on the Shin Bet and maybe the justice uh, uh, system, and they are not taking the blame for themselves. I don't see a uh, hope in this uh, statement by Netanyahu. Mr. Darabshi, it's not our first conversation on the topic, and, and um, um, from what I'm sensing, you, you beg to differ with Mr. Oppenheimer. Well, I, 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 you know, I, first of all, I like and respect the very much. Of course, much, we all but, do. Uh, yeah. on, on the issue, on the issue of the Same urgency here. of this matter, uh, I, I have a severe difference. I, I, you know, we are afraid of sitting outside our home. Uh, we, we are afraid of opening a business. We are afraid of buying a new car because the minute you do that, you basically are attracting potential uh, uh, criminals to come and try to shake you for money. The minute people see that you have some money or you live some kind of a comfort, you are at the immediate possibility of getting extortion. That you know that's a situation. There's no governance right now. There is no government. There is no police. There is no security in the Arab community. And if if it means we bring in the Shabak or the KGB, as I mentioned yesterday, or the CIA or the Palestinian Authority police, then I'm fine with it. I care less about who now manages the crisis. We are at a very severe stage of crisis right now. Yeah. I mean, I but maybe I agree with Ali that you know six months or a year down the road when this problem is resolved, yeah. then we will get rid of all of the security but, agencies that need to be get to get involved. But right now, I am afraid. I am as a citizen. I'm afraid of walking free in my vill in my village, in my my town. I've lived here. My family has lived here for almost 800 years. We've never felt this kind of fear, that existential fear. That's where Arab citizens are living. You'll be sitting outside, just sipping a cup of coffee. And suddenly, out of nowhere, you get this huge amount of terror that is falling on you. This is terror. This is not violence. This is organized crime. 158 casualties right now. This is a big war against Arab citizens. So right now, I care less about human rights. Right now, I care about human lives, and that's more important right now. But, but Shabak is not a magic word, and yeah. I am afraid that the government is using Shabak in order to take out uh, the responsibility and to throw it All on right. the Shabak, knowing that Shabak will not be able to deliver the result. Eventually, also, you need the police yeah, here. And also, uh, it's uh, somewhat uh, problematic to say when, once you begin, when as in when to stop. Okay, two minute uh, break, not two minutes, four minutes, and we're back uh, with the rest of our uh, summit, so do not go anywhere. Two minutes, then we're back. Welcome back uh, to the summit. Uh, still with us, Mohamed Daraushe, Michael Kleiner, and Yuri Vopinheimer. Thank you, gentlemen, very much uh, for staying with us. We're also staying on topic, of course, but before we get back to our conversation, we do need to mention the elephant not in the room tonight as the uh, chief of the uh, Shin Bet uh, security agency is meeting Arab leaders uh, this evening. The finance minister, the interior ministers invited, national security uh, minister not invited. Uh, so let's hear uh, what uh, Minister Ben Gvir has to say on the matter. The reality is that we have an existential threat. It's not just the over 150 people killed, may their memory be a blessing. We have a bigger threat. Crime in the Arab sector could very well spill over into the Jewish sector. They have all kinds of weapons that could all be directed at us upon command. It's going from being a crime problem to a security threat to the state of Israel. There's a reality that is bad, and it's going to get worse. We don't fully grasp the issue. All right, gentlemen, another quick fire round, 30 seconds each. Uh, can anything be done uh, to, uh, to stop the violence under this existing government, or do we need a new one in order to sort things out? Michael Kleiner, please take the lead. Your 30 seconds are on. Yeah, I don't. I, I didn't participate in the, the previous round. Uh, I, I believe the blame game is not important. I mm -hmm. don't excuse the government. I don't accuse the uh, mayors. I believe all have to join forces and fight it. Uh, of course, the minister uh, of police uh, or national security, Bengal, no, wants sure to succeed. Is. He knows that he will be judged according to his success. 
to uh, uh, kill this uh, problem, to uh, fight and win this war and reduce the numbers, uh, uh, to reduce the number to a normal uh, proportion yeah. uh, and to end this gang yes. uh, uh, control. And right. I don't, and, and I he will get help from the mayors. I believe yes. Arab okay. mayors to mm. participate in, in, in the group that will right. find a solution and all yes. have to join forces and not to speak to all speak right. about yes. blame. To, to, to kill, to kill the killings. Or politics. Like uh, like my we, my friend Oppenheimer did. All right, Thirty seconds. I agree hundred percent with Mr. Darausche on oh. this issue. Well, that's you a good bottom line. Let's just uh, wrap up the uh, opening uh, round, and we will open it up for a conversation. Yariv Oppenheimer, thirty seconds. A responsible prime minister will uh, move out uh, Ben Gvir from his uh, office. He is part of the problem, not part of the solution, and he has to be fired. <clears throat> he is using this uh, 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 emergency situation in the Arab community in order to incite Jews against Arabs and to say that the Arabs are a threat for Jews. This is the only thing that he cares about. He doesn't really show any motivation to solve the conflict, but to, uh, to, show, to solve the problem, but to use it. We need public pressure on the government and on the professional people, the head mm -hmm. of the police, the head of the Shabak, in order to move and All to right. do things dramatic. Mr. Darawshe, uh, last but not least. Well, yes, here I totally agree with Yari, but I will also add that it's not just a, a minister of national security that needs to be uh, taken out of his position, but also the police commissioner. It's absolute failure that under his years of uh, as a commissioner, we are only seeing the, a huge increase uh, in the number of, uh, of casualties in the Arab community. He also failed and many of his commanders. And that's why I would even say that maybe the problem needs to be confiscated from the police and, and transferred to some higher authority, some kind of uh, a coordinating body that deals not only with the police aspect, but also with the legal issues, with the financial issues that are uh, associated with crime. And then we need to start focusing on the foundation, which is education and cultural aspects that try to give solutions into the community. Speaking of public support, Mr. Kleiner, and let's please feel free to engage in a, uh, to interact from this point onwards. Um, last night's uh, weekly uh, protest against the uh, judicial overhaul focused, uh, or rather, put uh, Arab violence at at, at the uh, center of attention. Will it help the cause, or or, or is it going to harm it vis-a-vis -vis the government? I don't. I don't care really. I, I believe that we should ignore mm -hmm. all politics with this. It's about saving lives. Right. I believe the the issue is a solution. And as I said, the solution is by appointing the czar. The czar will work with the police, under police. Nobody will remove the minister. He wants to succeed. He wants to prove himself. But it has to be a government appointed. And yes, I believe that the Arab uh, mayors, the Arab uh, public, should be involved should be supervised together with others. Uh, this uh, process should sit together and find solutions. I, I for example, uh, will be very happy if uh, uh, Mansour Abbas will play a role in this uh, group that will find the solutions. At the end of the day, you need presence. The National Guard will but, not solve the problems, it will, but it will establish but Mr. Kleiner, presence. Mr. Kleiner, with all due respect, when you see the government, the what the government is dealing with... No, no, we, is encourage, the, is, we encourage conversation. To politics all the time. Let me speak about the solution. But Mr. Kleiner, to, what you are saying is very, very true. The, and this is what the government the need to do. To but how the come they are not doing it? How come they are only focused on demonstration on the Ayalon Highway? Finding, finding a way to a solution, and you disturb me now to describe the solution. As I said, but the government is not taking your offer. Police, they are doing all the, the opposite in Arab streets to, to deter these disturbances. And yes, uh, uh, equipping the special uh, um, task force in the police, which will work not with the not within the Shabak, but with methods of the Shabak to solve the problems. For example. I'm ready right. to make an exception and to use a, this a spyware of the government, which is now suspended for this special problem of the Arab population now. Well, if they need this spyware, it should be used Mr. as Kleiner, an exception only Please. for fighting okay. crime in yes. Arab Mr. Because Kleiner, this is a tragedy. Right, yeah. It's not because, by the way, I don't agree with the minister that it because it may spill to oh, the okay. Jewish community. 
Okay. If there would have been also 100% certainty, right. it will not speak to the Jewish community. Then it should, should be done. Yes. The same way. Yes. Mr. Lauscher, please. Mr. Yeah. Kleiner, if you allow me, I think that the failure of the minister is so obvious that he needs to go. He is also antagonistic. If not, he sees himself as an enemy to the Arab citizens. So we cannot expect from someone that sees two million citizens as an enemy, as, as, enemies, as someone allowing I, I, I respected you. So allow, allow me, please, to finish. Allow me, please, to finish. Tragedy. Allow me, please, to finish. So we can. I, I do not have. I, I probably should trust the crime uh, gangs more than I should trust uh, uh, the current minister, Ben Gvir, because Ben Gvir is, is working absolutely against our problem. community. Is now is part of the no, no, he the is community. because he is the problem. And trying to give us someone that he sees me he's as not, an enemy, not. that I have no civic status in this country, that he, sees he me as a, as a burden on the Israeli society to try to bring right. 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 not something realistic. He made and that's why, so that's why Mr. Mr. Kleiner, Mr. I think Gentleman. that the first step, if Netanyahu, if the government, if Netanyahu is serious, Netanyahu should immediately send Ben Gvir to another position. I don't want to have his coalition pull apart, but sending him to another position All so right. that his coalition, that, that we can have someone ben, serious, not not a clown right. that yeah. is managing yeah. the police. It's a clown managing the force. Itamar Ben Gvir, speak about dreams and dreams. Mr. Kleiner. Uh, Itamar Ben Gvir has ideology, and the ideology of, it, of Itamar Ben Gvir is that the Jewish state belongs to the Jewish people. He doesn't really care that the Arabs are suffering. Maybe even in, 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 he will not admit oh, no, it, no. but Joseph. he really wants to see the Arabs suffering, so maybe they will go away yeah. to another country. Therefore, is, uh, when you are uh, asking Itamar Ben Gvir what is the solution, he is talking about National Guard that will fight the Arabs <laughs> when they are protesting against the Jewish people. No, He's talking about he's not he's not, the the he's not he's not encouraging the police he's not encouraging the police to do anything the only thing that he encouraged the police to do is to go to the ILON and to confront the protest against the government this is the, the only motivation of him. and the, and the people in the police the see, see them and they know the when they would, would like to get promotion they will, they, will, they, will they need to fight the protest not to fight the crime in the Arab population Instead of solving the problem you try to make political propaganda against the government but this is reality. Well, I'm, ta I'm taking this government very seriously. I'm taking Itamar Ben Gvir very serious. He is, a seri he is a serious person that has ideology, a Kanistic right. one. That doesn't want to see right. coexistence, doesn't want to see Arab, even in the state of Israel. Gentlemen, this is all the time. This is all the time we have. And one thing, one thing is for certain deterrence is one thing, but trust is another fundamental element in solving uh, social problems. Uh, Michael Kreiner, Yariv Oppenheimer, Mohamed Arausha, thank you very much. Hey, I see you liked it. Want more? Just hit the subscribe button right here. Go on. I know you want to.